welcome back in tech TV studio and in this tutorial video we are going to learn how you can basically set up a mobile project in unreal engine 5.1.1 so for setting a mobile project i'm going to show you from scratch to end like how to do properly the first thing i'm using currently the unreal engine 5.1.1 so it doesn't matter whatever template you select like you can select a third person or a vehicle template it doesn't matter the main system is on your or main configuration on your project settings the first thing because you are going to create a mobile project doesn't matter you are doing in a blueprint or c++ it's on you but i am demonstrating for blueprint that is the same similar for the c++ but yeah make sure the c++ need to do something more step the target platform should be mobile and the quality preset should be maximum or even you can set it to scale. The scale give you some low pixel quality and also it basically restrict you some stuff kind of like HDR and other stuff. So if you want to get a highest realistic quality you need to set a maximum but for I recommend that if you are creating a mobile game you should use this scale. Then you can if you want you can import the startup content on its on you make sure the android doesn't support nanite or the ray tracing and lumen so you can't use them and i'm going to export in music folder and let's set it to ue51 mobile and then simply click on create now if you are doing first time it can be compile shader but if you already do tons of time it will be never compile shader for you once you have the project you find something like this a third person project it show you some plugins that which available so the main thing you need to first go to edit slash project settings and scroll down and you find in the windows tab at the windows tab make sure you press sm5 support and for the dts targeted shader format that is es 3.1 should be supported and the by default rhi should be in a default and the compiler version should be 2020-22 now once you done at here at the android setting we'll be do uh, in an another video that how you can set up the sdk and ndk and packaging stuff but this video only for setting the project once you do that now your second thing you need to do in just go to uh, your edit slash edit preferences at here you go to all settings search mu l t i here you find two options uh, two booleans that enable multi threads light map encoding enable multi thread shadow mapping encoding so what this thing this two thing do it will be basically help you also it will be boost your uh unreal engine project for compile shader and the big light map more fast because it's basically enable the multi threads in your processor so your unreal engine will be use the multi threads on your uh, you know on your cpu from your cpu so make sure if you if you don't want to give that full permission of your cpu you not should be enable that but i recommend to enable that so it's basically boots uh, boost your shader compile time and light build time once you do that the second step is you need to go to edit and at here you find that uh, preview render level here you can choose that uh, android estc one but before do that i recommend to do one more thing go to uh, basically to your edit slash project settings and at here you can search and you can search in all settings search that uh, auto expo so it will be basically an option that it will be automatically bright or basically yeah it's automatically bright your scene okay suppose in your very black uh, place that it will automatically boost up your and bright your level so for fix that you should uh, disable the auto expose like this and set it to auto exposure to manual once you do that the last step is search shadow and the shadow you should use the shadow map beta because you are not using nanite so you not should be use the sh uh, virtual shadow mapping beta because virtual shadow mapping beta is for nanite and it's also give you high uh, deep and shadow quality but we don't need high and next gen shadow quality in our mobile device because our mobile des uh, device doesn't have that super powerful gpu so that's why and ram so we'll sh we should use shadow map beta and you can search one more thing that n-a-n-i-t-e so make sure if it's there enable just disable that because an android and vr currently not support the 
nanite so it's there's a no way to use the nanite in android projects or android stuff you can export you'll be see that okay it's good but it doesn't basically improve your performance or anything it will be maybe pro up improve your performance in editor but not in your actual game when you export your game for android and you will be see that okay you are testing on your mobile device such as android or ios but it will be never boost up your performance okay now the last thing is project setup is suppose you have tons of map in your project like this and you have multiple maps for example uh if i go to maps and just suppose that i create a one more map okay i don't know why this is not giving me duplicate so let's set it to that lv2 that is my one more level and suppose you have this map so how so some of uh, you viewers always uh, comment me that bro how we include this map in our package bill or how we can tell our unreal engine okay you need to bake this map to or he, we need this map too because if you go to project settings and maps and modes we can only add one map at here where we can add multiple maps so here you can find the editor templates overview so here and this you can basically if you want you can basically add multiple maps or there's a one more best way to add you can go to packaging sector so here at the packaging sector just scroll down and at the advanced option just scroll down again and here you find that list of map to include in the package build you need to add your all maps at here so you can basically do like this third person then maps and just choose your level okay like this you can choose your all of map and unreal engine will be make sure that your this map should be always include in your package build so it will be never lose now once you have everything and save everything just give a restart make sure it can be compiled shader if you do tons of change if you are doing that first time make sure you have enough patience to you know watch them and just see the shader compile because every unreal engine developers and level designer hates the shader compile too much even personally i hate to that shader compile that means compiling 1000 2000 shader okay i really very really hate this thing okay now we can do move in our second step the second step is just suppose that you are seeing this thing on your editor but make sure unreal engine doesn't show you this is your actual android quality okay because this is the editor quality you are basically using rtx you are using a intel i9 12 gen processor in my case i'm using that so there you have enough powers you know you have a monster cpu and processor and you, you know all of the render stuff so it's basically give you a realistic quality but your android doesn't have so that is the basically issue that some of um, also my viewers tell me that bro uh, we just suppose we add this asset and it's not looking the same how we are seeing in editor it's basically looking some difference or the shape is making some blur or pixel render in our mobile so how we can fix this fix that and how we can understand okay this uh, model or material is have issue we can't use in our android i need to modify that so the basically the solution is there as i uh, show you that just go to edit and then go to uh, the preview renders levels and at here you need to choose to android estc1 if you are doing for vr choose the android vulcan if you are doing for the ios choose the ios shader mode 3 one okay or even you can say the dt d d3 d shader mode 5 so in our case i'm going to choose that android stc1 so now it's basically compiled all of the shader and then which one you are currently seeing this is basically going to be your actual android quality or android mobile quality make sure it's also compiled tons of shader depends on your project how much config you change and you have asset you know it will be basically compiled one more just suppose that in P for pc you compile 1000 shader for mobile it can be compiled one more 1000 shader okay so you can't do anything at here okay but yeah it will basically first of all uh, with this project settings you already boost up your unreal engine performance and if you want you can do one more thing you can go to settings and go to engine capabilities and you can set it to high okay do not set it to uh, cinematic or auto always set it to high or uh, maximum to epic okay so we have this thing this is uh, our currently the android quality what you're basically seeing it's still compiling shader as i said that it depends on your pc config and other stuff but however 
in this way you can basically set up your project for a android mobile game this project is ready to rock and roll in next tutorial i'm also going to make some more videos about unreal engine 4 or even some older version of unreal engine 4.20 and even unreal engine last version that is 5.2 okay you can check it my youtube channel and also if you like this video subscribe like share and subscribe and also there's a one more uh, last thing that in next tutorials some of tutorials after i'm going to show you that how you need to basically set up the sdk and dk jdk for the unreal engines version so yeah that's all for in this video thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next tutorial video